Well, Air Force played host to Tennessee State, and going into this game, there was the potential for it to be a record-breaking day for the Falcons. It lived up to that potential. First quarter, 7-0 Air Force. Asher Clark gets the pitch from the 7. Touchdown, Falcons up 14-0. To the start of the second, 14-7 Falcons. Tim Jefferson, he's got some time. He sees Mikel Hunter. What a tremendous grab on this play. It's kind of like an outfielder robbing a, a hitter of a home run. Well, yeah. you don't talk about great receivers from Air Force, but what a great catch by Mikel. And it goes up a la Mr. Payne. Oh, no doubt. From the Mountain West. And, you know, Air Force played very well today. 35-10, Air Force at the half. Tim Jefferson was on fire, looking to become the winningest QB in Falcon history. He and D. Dallas were tied with 22 career Ws. He had a personal best three touchdown passings on the day, uh, three touchdown passing on the day. And there's more records. There were seven Falcons that had scored touchdowns by seven different players. How about make it eight? There was Jonathan Lee, first carry of the day. He takes it 49 yards to the house, which is the end zone. Falcons at 792 yards, breaking the school record from back in 1994. Air Force wins at 63-24. Tim Jefferson talked about his milestone win afterward. It's a, it's a great feeling, I must, I must be honest. Uh, but at the same time, you have to give the credit to the rest of the team. You know, at the same time, I didn't play defense. You know, defense held their own. They did a great job. I didn't run the ball that much today. Uh, you can you can thank uh, people like Asher Clark, who you know had a tremendous day on the ground. So it's a it's a team game. But I, I'm I'm honored to be able to you know say that I uh, own the own a record in our record book.